Hi, everyone. Great to be here at NOAA for the sixth time. Always amazed me to see uh, some of the best startups in the world in one room. Um, I'm Amos. I'm a CEO and co-founder of Optibus. And every day, millions of people move around cities effectively because of our technology that is the engine behind efficient public transportation. But I want to start with the why. Why we do what we do. I want to ask you also to think about why you spend 40, maybe 50 hours a week doing the work that you do. What is the purpose or the impact behind what you do? Um, think about it for a while. Just a few months ago, uh, Optibus was uh, announced as the first unicorn that is completely dedicated to public transportation. This is everything that we do. Um, and why public transportation? Why invest in this industry? Why spend our time, resources, people, money in improving public transportation? So I want to spend a bit of time to explain that. Um, public transportation connects people with education, with schools, with universities, many people that otherwise wouldn't be able to get to this good school that they want or university and so on. Uh, so much research is being done on public transit connects people with jobs with great public transportation system and with cities with great public transit system, people have more options, more job options to work that they didn't have before. Public transit connects, and especially the people who need this the most, with uh, public health, with health facilities, with hospitals, uh, which is super important for, for so many people around the world. And public transit improves safety. Um, there is almost one and a half million people that dies every year because of traffic accidents. The best thing you can do to improve your safety uh, on the road is using public transit. It's about 20x, you're 20x less likely to be involved in traffic accident if you use public transit versus the private car. And of course, and this is what uh, many people are here for here at NOAA, uh, public transit protects the environment, helps the environment first by reducing significantly CO2 emissions, by pulling people together uh, to vehicles and by using electric transportation, but it also is free the, in the environment from all the concrete and roads. The more public transit we have, the more space, the more free space we have in cities. So with all of that, if you look at it economically, every dollar that you invest in public transportation, uh, lots of research being done on that, shows four dollars in return. So the return on investment is quite significant. So this is why public transportation is important. It impacts the life of so many people in a positive way around the world. But it's also super, super complicated to run. For passenger, it's very simple. You go on the bus, you go on the rail, you take uh, uh, a bus from A to B, it's simple. But behind the scenes, it's super complex uh, network. You need to design the routes, you need to design uh, where to allocate stops. Should this bus turn lefty or turn right? Uh, what should be the frequency of service on a morning versus night, weekend versus weekday? Should they use a double-decker versus a single-decker? Where should they use electric buses? Where should they use diesel, hybrid? How many drivers do I need? How many hours they will work a day? How much they will get paid? What to do if there is a traffic jam in the city? What to do if there is a vehicle breakdown? So many decisions that are super complicated to answer. But we see technology advancing quite rapidly in the last few years. We have artificial intelligence, prediction models, machine learning, optimization. We see it in almost every, everything we do now. We, we even in uh, uh, drawing pictures or writing poems. We see it with uh, driving the autonomous vehicles uh, with AI. But we don't really see it in public transit. The backbone of cities that moves the masses. What we see is cities all around the world planning their entire transportation systems using this pen and paper. Boards on the wall, manually, completely manually. So still being done like 100 years ago. 70% of our customers, Optibus is the first dig digital solution that they use. Before that, it was all manual. Because of that, we see inefficient public transit, empty buses, uh, we see buses that don't arrive on time, or not at all. And when they do arrive, <clears throat> many of them arrive on the same time, in many cases. We see transit networks that are static for many, many years and don't adapt to demand. 
And because of that, we have reliance on the private car. We have cities that are designed for cars and not people. Cars for which we really have no place anymore. And for which we really have no air anymore, with three billion tons of CO2 emissions every year just from private vehicles. So why public transportation? Again, I think now it's clear, because it impacts the life of so many people around the world, and it impacts the planet in a very positive way. So we created Optibus as this AI engine that takes all this manual work and automates it completely from designing the routes, designing the timetables, for allocating the resources, drivers, vehicles, and doing all of that both in the planning stage and in real time. And we scale the company very rapidly. Uh, we just announced a week ago that we reached 2,000 cities around the world that are now powered by Optibus. We've, our, the 2,000th city is Vienna in Austria. Uh, and I want to give you just a few examples of those cities. Uh, London and in the UK generally, Optibus is now powering 70% of all the country's public transit. That means that almost every bus that you see, every driver, every trip, every passenger is being improved, more efficient public transportation because of Optibus technology in almost every city in the UK. In Santiago, Chile, we power one of the largest electric bus fleets in the world. Uh, electric transportation in public transit is moving very rapidly, public transit moving very rapidly into zero emissions, actually much faster than, than many other industries. We will see zero emission public transit way before we'll see zero emission in private vehicles. But electrifying a fleet on a city-wide scale is a super complicated problem again. You need to allocate the chargers, you need to decide when to charge, how long to charge, which bus to charge first, how to make sure you don't consume too much energy and so on, and this is where our technology comes into play. And a very unique project that I want to tell you about, something that I'm really proud uh, about, is in the city of Kampala in Uganda. Like many cities in Africa, people don't own cars, only 5% car ownership. On the other end, they don't have a public transit system. Most of Africa don't have public transit system at all. So how people get to work? They walk. They walk one and a half hours every day, or they use this inefficient taxi, kind of unregulated uh, service, very uh, dangerous and polluting. Um, so there is a huge change right now, which is positive to the world and Africa, which is building new public transit system uh, in the continent. And for us, for Optibus, it was the first time that our technology is being used to create a completely new public transit system from scratch, not just to improve an existing one, but create something that was never there before. So one and a half million people in the city of Kampala in Uganda will have an efficient public transportation system very soon. This is day one of Optibus. This is my son, Jonathan. Uh, in this picture, he's two years old. Today is 10. Uh, we founded Optibus in 2014. This picture uh, is from the basement of my house where we worked, me and my co-founder initially, just two people. Uh, and today, Optibus is 400 employees in 12 offices in 26 countries, working on improving public transportation. Because of their work, there is a bus that arrives on time. There is a route that takes people uh, that were never there before. There are electric buses in a city where they didn't have it before. And for me and all the employees of, of Optibus, this is the why, uh, to create better public transportation together. Thank you.